My name is Pro, and this is my Mutated Blood Bells Slayer Hi. Guide. This is a very good task for XP, and you will make some GP even though you use a lot of cannonballs. You're going to want 60 in your combat stats and 43 pair to protect from melee. They are weak to everything, so just use whatever skill you want to train. I will be doing melee. You could train range with a Venator bow, and it's a lot quicker, but I have 99 range, so I need to train melee stats. They are going to drop a lot of blood runes and alkables, so I would bring high outs. They will also drop hard clues. I will be bringing the Osmutton's Fang, the Bone Crusher Necklace or Bone Crusher, Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Boots, Berserker Ring Imbued, Proselyte Body and Legs, Dragon Defender, Rada's Blessing, Fire Cape, and the Slayer Helm. If you're not on a Slayer task, you can use the Nathan's Knot Helm. And if you want to change the Osmontan's Fang for a whip, that is fine as well. You're going to want to bring a Super Combat or a Combat Potion or Divine Super Combat. Six Prayer Pots, more or less depending on your prayer level and prayer bonus. A Cannon, Vire Noble Outfit with a Necklace. Cannon Balls, Nature Runes, One Dose Stamina Pot, Spec Weapon, Ash Sanctifier, A Wrench, a rune pouch with tellies and high outs, and a herb sack. The fastest way to get here is by using the Draken's Medallion to teleport to the Theater of Blood. Take off your Vire Noble outfit, and then you're going to talk to the vampire dude by the bank on the other side. He will teleport you to the mines. Put your Vire Noble outfit back on, and you will talk to the other vampire dude to get out of the mines. From here, you will follow this path all the way over here to this door. And then once you pass through that door, you will pass through the red tattered blanket door. And then you will go through one more door and then down some stairs. You will probably want to drink your stamina potion now. Go down the ladder and into the room. You will follow the path all the way to the end where you will find the mutated blood belts. Start by putting on Protect from Melee and running in to put your cannon down. Take a sip of your combat potion and you will pretty much be AFK besides having to fill up your cannon every 10 seconds. I like to out the items and pick up all the stackables. And 45 minutes later we have gained 50,000 Slayer XP and 192,000 XP overall. As you can see the Blood Velds are a very good task for XP. It's very fast in my opinion and very AFK and we still made a profit even using almost 2,000 cannonballs. We have made 337k GP.